guys. Welcome to Shiloh Homestead. I'm Scott. And I'm Debbie. And today, it's been a little while since we've done a video. There's a humming, hummingbird swarming us. It just landed here. <clears throat> uh, it's been a while since we've done a video, but uh, we've had just a lot of stuff going on. We've got a little project we're going to do today. Um, as I don't know if we've mentioned this before, but we go by Home Depot a lot. And for those of y'all that don't know, they have what they call the coal bin, which is boards that are a little warped or some, something, some kind of little damage to them. And they mark it 70% off. So we go by there a lot and just check and see what they've got. And we've gotten truckloads of lumber over the past year or so. We look like gypsies so. with like wood sticking out of our <clears> windows. Yeah, trying to get it all fit in that Suburban right there. But anyway... So we've got all this wood laying around here, uh, two by fours and four by four posts. Um, this last week we got several sheets of uh, plywood and stuff, but uh, we don't have room in our building to store it all. So we're gonna build a little lean-to type cover off the side of our building, which excuse all the mess here, but <clears throat> We've got underneath that plastic tarp, I've got a couple of saw horses, and that's all a bunch of the that wood I'm talking about that we got that I just put across there and, and made a little thing to park our lawnmowers under. It's just sitting on saw horses. So anyway, we're going to clear all this out, and we're going to build a little lean-to thing here off the side of the building uh, to store the lumber under. And also our lawn mowers and tillers. Before we get started though, we're going to take a look at the stuff that we had planted here. Um, just see how things are going. No, we're going to have to find a stake to stake up that tomato plant right there. But anyway, as y'all know, we were late planting this stuff for the summer and a little too early for fall planting but we just wanted to get something in the ground so <clears throat> that tomato plant right there is looking fairly good the weather has been so hot here that i was afraid not much of this is going to make it but we got some little pepper plants here that are actually putting on some little peppers But this is our cucumber plants. And again, I don't think we planted at the right time. Look at the climbing tendril thingies coming off of yeah. it. Yeah. But the plants are still small, but look at all those blooms on there. And on that one. And then we got one that's on, it's really starting to crawl on the ground here. But look at all those blossoms on there. They're just so compacted that I don't think it's really. I don't think it's really going to put on anything. Way moth. Look wondering. at that, that looks like a lightning bug on that wildflower right there. I wondered what they did during the day. Oh, we got to show you something else we did last weekend while we were here. The bees aren't doing much today because it's been rainy all day. Kind of a misty rain. And it's cool. I mean, it's been close to 100 heat index, 110, 115 over the past couple of weeks. And today it is... I think it was 75 when we got up here on the mountain. 73. 73. Down to 73. <clears throat> at the end of August. We have a squash. We do. Look. Look at that. I really didn't think it put on any fruit. I didn't either. There's one growing on that one too. There sure he is. And there's still still lots of blossoms Ooh, look 
Look at that we pepper. Have a pepper. That's a banana pepper. That's a Jacob pepper. Look at there. Something ate the top out of it. So that may be the only one we get. And broke the leaves. I don't know, it's putting on a lot of new growth. <clears throat> something that's something has ate. eaten the top out of our tomato plants, so they're gone. They're not going to produce. Deer, probably. Well. Let's go uh, show them our project we've got going. Okay. <clears throat> we'll start over here. Um, they're here so I can check on the... Okay. Um, we haven't put out a video yet, but Debbie had found where some muscadines are growing on our land here. And we've got several vines that we were pretty sure were muscadine vines. And it turns out they are. So, boy, look at all the growth on that yeah, hydrangea. Yeah, a lot of new growth on it. Here. <clears throat> yeah. And even on this side, there's new coming out of all that dead wood. Yeah, I figured that would be all right. Yeah. And then we got another hydrangea we planted here. It looks like a lot of new growth off of it too. Yeah. Look down and there's here. some coming on the bottom. Yeah. yeah. That's what I'm excited to see. <clears throat> And then our beauty berries are starting to turn. Are they? Oh yeah, we gotta keep a close eye on those. Cause they yeah, well, I bet by the end of the week they'll be bright purple. And I can't wait to show that. Yeah. I can't wait to pick those and I see what we can do with them. a video the other day of somebody <clears throat> making beauty berry jelly. Man, there's tons. These over here are already pretty dark. Let's get around here to this. Let me watch for snakes, because... Me and snakes don't get along. And still wish I knew what... See that right there? And they get so much more bright purple than that. They're just starting to turn. Man, I can't wait. I love it. Okay, so back to that. All this growth underneath this big tree over here, we were pretty sure was muscadines. And it turns out it is. So we're trying a little experiment. <clears throat> You'll see all of these pots we've got sitting around here. We are trying to start some off of the runners on this stuff. We're gonna see how it does, and uh, we took like this runner and ran it into the pot, kind of scratched the surface of the bottom of the stem, and then set a big rock on top of it. And we're gonna see if it takes root, because usually wherever those runners touch the ground, they take root. So we've set several all the way around this mess. And, and we're trying to start several. You see this? See all this right here? This is where a vine was on the ground and it started a whole new one. And see how long this one is right here? Look right here. This is a vine on the ground. And, and it's, it's taking root, root in several there, places. And there. And where this big long stalk right here is about to touch the ground, it'll mm -hmm. probably take root. Just like that one's done. <clears throat> anyway, so here is our plan for over here. Those trees are coming down. That tree's coming down. Those trees by the driveway are coming down. This big pine tree is probably coming down. Hopefully. Look at that mosquito going um, up it now. Yeah. That tree's coming down, and that tree's coming down, probably both of those, and trim this oak up. And we're probably going to pretty much clear all of this right here, and this is going to be where our muscadine vineyard is. I mean, obviously muscadines grow well here. Look at this. 
but let me back up here and see if I can show. So these trees right here will be gone. We're going to start rows of muscadine through here running all the way that way. We haven't measured it. I'm not sure how long the rows are going to be, but they're going to be pretty long. But this will be our muscadine vineyard. Yeah, towards that pine tree back there. So that'll be a lot of muscadines. And uh, we may get into the muscadine business. And these starts that we get off of this stuff, maybe we may be selling those at uh, plant shows and stuff. So, Which we could, if this works, we could do hundreds of these pots. Yeah. From what is just right here, <clears throat> but we wanted to go ahead and try it first to make sure it was going to work. But we've got. We did that. We've got two other places here that we've got muscadines that are putting on fruit. So I'll show you what we've done to this one over here. This just to the side of the bee yard over by where we caught the swarms. Now these had a little bit of fruit on them, but it was all grown up in this stuff over here. Something's been eating them. A lot of the leaves and stuff Deer. are gone. Deer. And they've pulled them. We were trying to get some starts in these pots right here. See, we had the rocks. <clears throat> yeah. We had rocks weighing them down. But something has eaten a lot of the leaves off. And I just guarantee you it was the deer. Because they come through right here. But you can see this one has still got... <laughs> I see one muscadine. Oh, there's a purple one back there. Look, just above that pink. Oh, yeah. Well, if I can find it in the camera here, can you point to it? Oh, there's two. Can you see it? Yeah. Hey, these were growing up in this little oak sapling right here, so we cut them out. There's still some fruit growing back there where it's still on the on that little oak too and oh I didn't even see these right here oh yeah those are kind of sickly looking yeah but... that one's oop it fell it was something a bug was eating on it yeah but anyway so we cut it all out of that sapling and put up this little fence trellis <clears throat> but anyway so we put this fence up <clears throat> and we're training it up on this fence for right now we may end up moving it eventually and we're gonna have to after the season's over we'll we'll prune it back uh, and we'll get it looking pretty and get it to where it'll produce more fruit so once it's the <clears throat> ooh, look how dark purple that one is right there Let's see if that one's ready to pick which one Ooh, that one? It's a, yeah, it's a pretty good size one. Is it still hard? Um, not really. You want to eat it? No, or, you can. Mm. I'll let y'all watch me eat it. Muscadines are my favorite. This one. Oh, you found one? Mm-hmm. Good. Mmm. Mm. Oh, my gosh. So good. All right, um, let's go check the one other place that's got muscadines, and then we got to get started on this lane too.
anyway this pine tree right here is the one that Debbie originally found if you look up there about 20 foot ooh they're turning purple oh man of the it um, is loaded. God, look over here. Oh, wow. Oh, man. Look at all those. I don't know if y'all can see those or not. Because of the lighting. There's a ton. There is a ton of muscadines up there. I'm going to have to get my deer stand over here because it's the only thing I got tall enough. Well, that extension ladder is pretty tall. Okay, and Scott is going to get some muscadines. Ooh, I can live up here. If not, babe, just leave them and let's. That one came off pretty easy. Better try it. Mmm. It's good. It's a view you don't see on camera much from us. Yeah. Far beautiful place. A little junked up over there, but <laughs> it's still beautiful. We're working on it. We'll get it cleaned up. We're back up at the driveway, and look at this beautyberry bush. It's almost completely turned already. They're still not as bright as they get. This one is almost there. This little bunch right in here is pretty it's bright. It's pretty close, yeah. And that one right there is. Yeah. These will probably definitely be ready by Wednesday. Yeah, those are coming off pretty easy, aren't they? Did you know that <clears throat> these um, produce berries twice a year? Oh, really? Spring and... Oh. I don't remember seeing them in the spring. Yeah. They still look a little white. Yeah. to you what we're doing here <clears throat> because we're not making this lean to permanent because we'll probably be moving the shed later on once we get moved out here we don't want it right here and we don't want to screw anything into the shed right now so uh, there's Wasp spray dripping off there because of the spraying the wasp. Anyway, so I'm going to show you what we're doing for the corner post. <clears throat> We've got these 4x4 four four posts and these blocks here. We're getting these blocks level and putting a T post down in it. And then, oh, the poison dripped on me. Uh, we'll set that 4x4 four yeah, four like post it's still dripping pretty heavy. in there with that. And we'll tie it off with some straps 
uh, screw some straps to it around the T-post just so that it is anchored. We'll do that on the four corners. Probably the probably middle posts, all probably all six posts yeah. we're going to put. <clears throat> but anyway, then we'll fill in around the post inside the block with some uh, pea gravel. And then uh, we'll run our cross boards off, off of those posts connecting them. And uh, then we're going to have sheet metal for a roof that's going to kind of go up under that sheet metal so that the water will drain off of that roof onto this one and out. And then we're going to put actually put a rain barrel collection system off of it. We'll put a gutter on this, this end down here run into the back and have that big tank back there to collect water in. Anyway, I was just going to explain to you what we were doing here because uh, I want you to keep in mind we are not carpenters <laughs> and we don't do things right. We do things the way, trying to get this back level here. We do things uh, the only way we know how to do it. So, anyway, you don't you don't necessarily want to do it like we do it. No. <clears throat> Unless it works, and then you can copy our idea. If it works, we might patent the idea. I can't get this back level again. One eternity later. Hey guys, <clears throat> so our battery went dead the other day when we were out here working, and uh, so we didn't get to to show anymore. Um, I'm going to show you while we got done. This is now Wednesday. We were out here Saturday, I think, <clears throat> starting on this lean to. So I'll show you what we got done before the battery died. We got most of this up. <clears throat> The problem we were running into, <clears throat> sorry about the light, it's uh, middle of the day. Um, the problem we were running into, you know, we were using uh, coal lumber that we got from Home Depot. And most of that stuff is like curved and, you know, there's things wrong with it. It's not all straight. So you wouldn't believe how hard that is to get <laughs> everything figured up to where it all lines up right. And, and everything so yeah, anyway try to square at bowed lumber yeah it's pretty tough so uh anyway we weren't able to put t posts in this one right here or that one and if you'll notice it's fallen over because it stormed the next day and that part uh since it wasn't anchored in the ground it blew over so we're gonna have to fix that <clears throat> we're not gonna work on it today um because we're uh, short on time. Uh, we got church tonight and all. So we'll be back out. I don't know. It may be next. Uh, I don't know. Weekend after next. Because we've got a churchyard sale this weekend. I'm hoping we can come out here Saturday afternoon. Yeah. And maybe Sunday. And it's also a holiday weekend. That's right. We're off on Monday. Right. So maybe we can get out here and work Monday. But uh, we got to get that part put back up and uh, get it anchored in the ground and then we're going to go by the rafters because we want those to be straight so that it'll be sure and drain right <clears throat> so we're just going to buy good good boards for that and then um, we've got a little bit of 
of sheet metal of tin to, to put on the roof, it's not enough to do the whole thing. However, our, uh, our good neighbor next door, Gary, um, says he's got some, some metal that we can use, just scrap metal. So uh, it's different colors, you know, it's not all going to match up, but who cares? It's, <laughs> it's free. He's helping us out, so we'll gladly take it. <clears throat> anyway, today we're not messing with this. Today we're out here to do what we've been wanting to do for a while. We're going to pick some muscadines. They're ready. We actually snuck out here... Last night. Was it last night? Yeah. And Scott climbed up there and... We sampled a few. Sampled some. <laughs> there were some that had just <clears throat> fallen that were on the ground. And uh, we ate them. And we ate them. They're good. Now these wild muscadines, they're a little bit more sour, I think. Tart. Tart, I guess you'd say, than the... Than the uh, tame ones do you say tame ones uh but anyway they're still good they've still got that good muscadine flavor yeah. and i don't think we're gonna get enough that we can do like jelly or anything it may just be enough for us to snack on you know so but anyway we're gonna try and get them before the birds do so that's what we're about to do got debbie's feed bucket she bought the other day had to have it. Just had to have pink. They have all different colors. That, we got that at Atwoods in Lone Oak. <clears throat> and I'm sure we'll be getting plenty more once we get our animals. Bad little haul for not even knowing that we had muscadines out here yeah. <laughs> for sure we're gonna go ahead and end this for the day so we got got to get uh, finished up here and go get ready for church yep. and then uh, next time we come out and work on the uh, lean to some more or come out and check the garden or whatever we'll uh, we'll do another video at the end so anyway so thanks for watching us here at uh, Shiloh Homestead, and we'll see you next time. God, God bless, bless you. you.